Okay, let's do a little bit more work with function notation and look at composition of functions. So I have my same two functions right here. f of x is 2x minus 1. g of x is x squared minus 4. I want to find f composed with g of x. So this notation right here stands for the composition of the functions f and g. Or f composed with g, the composition of f with g, and its definition is this. F composed with G of X means F of G of X. So I want to do F to what I get when I do G to X. So I start inside just a little substitution for G of X, and I'll write this as F of G of X is X squared minus 4. Okay, so what's F of X squared minus 4? Well, F does the same thing to anything that's inside the parentheses. It multiplies it by 2, and then it subtracts 1. So if it does that to x, it's going to do the same thing to x squared minus 4. So I'm going to write this as 2 times x squared minus 4 minus 1. So there, I've done the same thing to x squared minus 4 that I do to anything that's inside the parentheses there. So the rest is just a matter of simplifying. I'll multiply here. 2 times x squared is 2x squared. 2 times negative 4 is negative 8, plus another negative 1 is minus 9. So there's a new function that's the composition of these two old functions, the composition of f with g. So f composed with g of x stands for f of g of x, and when I work it out, I end up with 2x squared minus 9. Let's see what happens if I do it in the other order right here, g composed with f, or the composition of g with f of x. Well, that definition is going to be very similar. It's going to be g of f of x. So I'm just going to do it in the other order right here. So I'm going to do g to what I get when I do f to x. So I'll start with just a little substitution here. f of x is equal to 2x minus 1. So I want g of 2x minus 1. Well, what does g do to whatever's inside the parentheses? Well, whatever's inside the parentheses here for the function g it squares it and then subtracts 4. So if it does that to x, it's going to do that to 2x minus 1. So I'm just going to write this as 2x minus 1, quantity squared, minus 4. So I just did the same thing here to 2x minus 1 that I did to x up here. I always do the same thing once I have the function rule like that. Okay, so let's simplify here. Let's multiply. 2x minus 1, quantity squared. I'll square the first term, 4x squared minus the product of the two terms doubled, so minus 4x, you don't want to forget that middle term, plus the last term 1, minus 4. So I end up with, let's see, 4x squared, minus 4x, minus 3. So you can see that composition of functions here is not a commutative operation. I get something different when I do f composed with g and g composed with f. I get two different functions out here. So right away you see it's not a commutative operation. Okay, what about if I had a specific number in here instead of x? What if I had um, f composed with g of, let's just say, 2? What if I wanted to put a 2 in there? Well, I can just go through the whole process here and say that's going to be f of g of 2. And then g of 2, I'll put 2 in here. 2 squared is 4 minus 4 is 0. So that's f of 0. And then f of 0 is 2 times 0, which is 0, minus 1, which is negative 1. So I can just go through the whole process again like this. Or if I have the formula for f composed with g of x, I can just take my original 2, put it in here. 2 squared is 4 times 2 is 8. Subtract 9 it's going to end up to be negative 1, just like that one there was. Okay, let's do the same thing down here. How about if I have g composed with f of 2? Well, we can just go through the whole process. I'll use the definition g of f of 2. Okay, that's going to be g of, well, f of 2. I put 2 in here. 2 times 2 is 4. Subtract 1 will be 3. And so g of 3, I'll put 3 in here and get 9, subtract 4 is going to be 5. Now, you can check and see if I take 2 and substitute it back in here for x, since I already have the whole formula worked out for g composed with f of x. 
If I take that 2 and substitute it into this formula, you can try it yourself, you'll end up with 5. It'll be exactly the same thing. So composition of functions, a new way to combine two functions that you already know to get some new function, the composition of one with the other. It's not a commutative operation, so you've got to make sure you do it in the order that it's shown right here when it's written down, but it really amounts to just substitution.